Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to access Salesforce Agent API from Lightning Web Component. To securely access Salesforce Agent API for uh, Lightning Web Component purpose, I'm going to make use of Apex. In order to store the consumer key, consumer secret, my domain URL and API instance URL, I have made use of a custom metadata type. So this is an org where I'm going to create a lightning web component and access Salesforce agent API via Apex and display it on the lightning web component. The org where agent force agent is configured, the connected app for that particular org, the consumer key and consumer secret from the connected app, all this information are stored in this uh, custom metadata type. This is the API instance URL and this is the Salesforce uh, my domain URL where uh, the agent force agent is hosted. Since I'm going to make uh, HTTP requests, uh, I'm going to allow list those uh, endpoints in my remote site settings. So the configuration information is stored in uh, custom metadata type. In order to securely access the endpoints, whenever I'm making HTTP request, I have all listed in remote site settings. Let's dive into the demo. This is the Lightning Web Component where I'm going to invoke the agent force agent from a different Salesforce org. I'm going to say interested in products. Now it will go, since I'm starting the conversation, it will go do a post request, get the access token. Next, it will do a, another post request and get the session ID. Next, it will send and uh, it will send uh, uh, the message to the agent force agent. So this is the response I got back. Let me see. Now it won't again get the access token, create the session ID. It will make use of the existing access token and a session ID. Okay, so I was able to get the response back. Here are the products. I would like to know more about this test one product. So I'm going to say I would like to know more about this product. to send it again. Okay, so this is the product image and it is asking whether I would like to purchase it so I can continue the conversation uh, using this lightning web component. Once I click end session, this download icon will be available. You can click it and then you should be uh, able to download the conversation transcript as a text file. Let's do a quick code walk through. I'm not going to deep dive into the code, but high level I will say what is developed. This is the Apex class where I am uh, uh, sending the message. So whenever they click send message, it will pass this, uh, it will call this uh, method. It will pass the token when it was issued, the session ID and string message. When the token is uh, blank or if the last uh, token issued is blank, I will try to do a request and get the access token. So this is the method uh, which you do a post request and get the access token. So I'm storing the access token and sending it back to the Lightning Web Component. Next, I'm checking whether the session ID is blank. If the session ID is blank, I am making a session request. This is another post request to get the session ID. 
once that is done i am doing another uh, post request to send the message uh, there are two endpoints to send uh, messages to the agent force agents one synchronous and the other one is streaming uh, endpoint i am making use of synchronous endpoint so this is the method which uh, do the post request to send the message once it process i will get the http response i will process it and then i will send it back to the lightning web component this is the lightning web component html where i have a download utility button icon i am displaying all the messages using lightning text area i am getting the information that has to be passed to the agent force agent two buttons one to send the chat information and the other one is to end the session yeah whenever they click uh, chat it will call this method it will call that uh, send message method in apex and then it will try it will uh, uh, get the access token get the session id and also it will do the um, synchron it will do a post request to the synchronous endpoint to process the message and then it will receive the message back from the agent force agent next time when we call the same method it will again pass the access token and uh, session id since they are not blank it will not go and do another set of uh, post requests uh, to get the access token and session id it won't do those it will directly go to the third uh, uh, http post uh, method where it will try to send the synchronous message whenever the message is uh, entered i am storing that information in the str message in the handle session whenever they click end session i am calling this uh, end session uh, apex class method to end the session so this is the code which i am making use to download the conversation in the end session this is a method from the apex class chat client controller so here i am making use of a delete request so that the session will be ended it is always a best practice once the conversation is uh, done uh, we have to end the session immediately please check the video description in the video description i have given my blog post from the blog post you should be able to get the sample apex code and the lightning web component code for your reference i hope it was helpful thank you for watching